Hey, what is up? Been a long time since I made a video. This is the first time I'm gonna make one with my new HTC Thunderbolt phone. Supposedly in HD here. Seems to work pretty cool. I can even zoom. Not sure that's just digital zoom. Okay. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I'm gonna check out a unit that's been tripping the breaker. I'm looking for a short circuit problem when you're checking compressors out and the controls out and whatnot. One thing to make the uh, check is a crankcase heater. This one doesn't have one, but crankcase heaters are uh, known to short out. I've actually seen uh, people condemn compressors <laughs> when it was just a crankcase heater that was shorting. So, all right. One thing that jumped out at me right away I was checking this unit is the oil right here. I checked that run capacitor, it checked okay. It, but what it actually is is the run cap the start capacitor. Looks like it's blown out and it's leaked down. I did confirm that. Okay, if you have a capacitor checker that will read high enough, you can check start caps. The one thing though is you can't read across the bleed off resistor. I'm gonna cut this one off. I already can guarantee this capacitor is bad just because of the fluid that you can see is leaked out of there. It's got a crack there. Crack right there. Fluid leaking all around over there. You know about 11 microfarad, no 11 nanofarads, which is like nothing. And uh, this one is an 88 to 108 microfarad, which I think I do should have one down there. Let me go. Go ahead and replace that. Okay. By the way, see all this gravel? This is uh, not on the ground level. This is actually up on the rooftop. Got uh, here 521 compressor saver. This is the hard start kit universal. It happens to have the same 88 through 108 microfarad rim cap. This unit looks large, but it's just a two ton unit. So that's all it takes. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up and install that in place of the stock potential relay and start capacity. Now it's wired just like a standard, uh, you know, unit without a hard start. That don't take much, but one thing you know with me is those capacitors better be bolted in. I don't want to see them left in the boxes or in the bags that they came in. Black wire goes to the contactor, same terminal that of black wire that's going to go down to the common leg of this compressor. The uh, run winding comes up, you know, ties into the uh, capacitor here and then jumps over. Oops, I don't know why it's doing this. Zoom in. Jumps over to the contact over here, so I'm just going to put that wire right there, and then the, the yellow striped wire on the 521s go on the start winding of the compressor, which is this same terminal as where the blue wire connects on the herm of the run cap, goes down to the start winding down there. Should be all set to go. Now, when I tap the contactor on the, uh, you should see current flow through the wire which I'm sampling is going through the start capacitor there. It's so fast you can't even see it. Usually be just a little flick on a digital meter. So you can see that it's definitely starting this compressor. And I'm abusing it a little bit by demonstrating. See it fired right up. Compressor is running. And after I first uh, reset this breaker today, when I came up here, the compressor was running. It's because it hadn't been running, nothing was hot, pressures were uh, not built up. But on short recycles, you know, you don't have a start kit on there, <laughs> you're going you're gonna to start having problems. And that's what we had here. 
everything's fine except for the stock start capacitor blew out. And then it was just a awkward ramps and then tripping the breaker. So I did not uh, detect any short to ground, although I did not use my megometer, just used the regular low voltage, you know, ohm meter. But it's usually a pretty good indicator. Hardly ever, I mean, it's very rare you're going to find a compressor that's got a cracked winding that you uh, didn't pick up with the regular ohm meter but could with the megometer. Usually you just don't you just <laughs> don't get to catch them like that because usually once they're to that point they uh, they die very quickly and uh, by the time you check it out it's already shorted <laughs> and you'll pick it up with any meter. So. My uh, tiny keychain camera. This is my HGC phone here. It's supposed to be recording in HD with it, but I don't, you know, what are you gonna get out of a lens like that? But I already see that I'm having a little bit of issues with the heat. On the, it's not wanting to obey. I can't stop the video right there. There, it finally stopped. The zoom was going on on its own and stuff like that. So uh, I don't know if it's from me sweating on the keypad and then it's heating that up or what. I'll have to figure something out.